Our first caller is Tom from New Jersey. Hey, what's up, Tom? How can we help you? Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, long short of it is, um, I uh, lost over 150 pounds naturally. Um, went from 420 yeah. down to the uh, 270s. Um, kept it off over the course of three years. Um, was with a trainer till about six months ago. Um, got certified myself, really trying to take it to the next level. Nice. Um, big thing is, I've kind of plateaued, and I just really want to keep burning, really want to put on some more mass. Um, it's tough with the all natural thing, but uh, I want to see what you guys say about possibly taking it to the next level, what program I could maybe go on and, you know, any, you know, hurdles you could help me face. Yeah. No. I, I have some questions around the, the cut. Okay. So yeah, well, first off, I want to commend you on your right. Adam haircut. That's a really nice, uh, yeah, you got the style <laughs> yeah. going has on. He got, has he got my look or what? Oh, he's got yeah, your look. Dude. Uh, he must be handsome yeah. as fuck. Dude. Yeah. It's super so, handsome. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> aerodynamic. No, I, so I, yeah, the questions I have, um, I kind of want to know how you got, got down. Right. So did you do it mostly through weight training and diet? Did you utilize a lot of cardio? Do you have any idea of where your calorie intake is right now? And then the last question is, have you been on a, a bulk yet? Okay. Um, it started through light training. Um, I was an athlete back in high school um, and out um, into my mid twenties until I changed. Um, so I had knowledge of that. I uh, incorporated light training again. Um, I have a very bad knee. I have no cartilage left in it, so I'm working with that. But uh, it was mainly strength training and very light cardio. And then it got to the point where I built up from two days a week to three days a week to, you know, five to six days a week. Um, I, uh, I have not gone on a bulk. I'm very scared about putting anything on. Um, it's trying to break that mindset. Um and the, the other thing is I'm probably around 3,400 calories right now. <clears throat> okay. This, so this is a, we're in a good place, bro. 3,400 yeah. calories, lost so much weight, and you haven't done a bulk yet. Um, and that is going to be this conversation from, I'm sure from all three guys are going to be the same thing as far as the mindset is going to be the, the, the greatest hurdle that we have right now, which is, I, and I totally get this because uh, I've trained many clients uh, in a very, very similar situation as, as yourself. And I do know that, you know, when you're coming from there, just the thought of, oh my God, what if I start a bulk and I see the scale go up 10 pounds or even 15 pounds or anywhere in that direction after all this hard work. But the truth is, uh, that's why you've plateaued right now. You've plateaued right now because your body is completely adapted to the caloric intake, the activity level that you're doing. Your best bet right now is let's put on some muscle. And in order to put on more muscle than you already have done and already have right now, we are going to require increasing our caloric intake and then putting you on a muscle building type of program. I would recommend, based off of listening to what you're kind of doing right now, probably a MAPS anabolic type of program. Uh, that's the direction I would go. I'm curious to hear what the guys would say, but I'm sure they're going to say the same thing as far as the mental hurdle. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree 100%. Uh, I think MAPS Anabolic, three foundational workouts mm -hmm. a week, because you have the choice in the program to do two or three. I would mm -hmm. say do three. Make sure you do your three trigger sessions on all of your off days. And then what I would add to that, because you mentioned your knee, is I would add uh, MAPS Prime Pro to work on hip, ankle, and foot mobility to take pressure off uh, the knee. And, you know, be very careful with your lower body exercises. Don't worry so much about going real heavy, work within uh, your limits. But mm -hmm. you're in a really good position. I mean, based off of what you said, you lost weight the right way. And I mean, you're at 3,400 calories, you're still at a pretty good number. You're crushing. Now, a bulk is just a little bit more than that. You don't got to do an aggressive bulk. In fact, I would recommend against doing an aggressive bulk, especially if in the past your tendency was to overeat. <clears throat> So mm -hmm. all you got, I would add, you know, 300 calories, uh, 400 calories max, probably around mm -hmm. 300 and just yeah. let your body slowly get stronger, build some muscle, do it over the course of the, the MAPS anabolic program, about three months, keep it kind of slow. You can throw in right. a couple days, a week of low calories. If you feel like you're putting on body fat and then mm -hmm. just do that and then see where you're at at the end of that. I think you'd be surprised how much body fat you may actually lose believe it or not, by following that kind of a protocol. I, I also, you, we definitely want to, even though our ultimate goal probably is to get down to a lower body fat percentage and continue to lean out, like you said, the goal though now mentally is to focus on strength. 
because because mm-hmm. what you don't want to do is to take the advice we said and you go okay guys said add three four hundred calories a day I'm doing that and the thing you're watching is the scale you mm-hmm. got to just that needs to go to the side for a while don't worry about your exact weight right now eat like a, like, eat like Sal was saying three to four hundred extra calories a day follow maps and a ball three times a week that doesn't mean that the other because you've worked up to five five to six days a week of activity, still go for a walk, still, mm. still do things. And you do, get the trigger sessions. Yeah. Trigger sessions and still do like a mobility from prime pro. So that's what I would do to supplement maybe the, all the activity that you're doing currently now, since we're telling you to reduce to three days a week of full body routine, but still do activity, still work on mobility, still do the trigger sessions on the off day. So you're still going to be moving around doing stuff five to six days a week, just training. And then the mentality is around building strength so let that be your guide on am i doing a good job am i get, getting stronger week over week right. following the program and then we can assess at the end of it uh where you're at yeah strength is your gauge how like uh, to energy levels so like i don't know how energetic you feel right now at what 3400 calories but uh you know that's something to really pay attention to and just gradually increase that based on like uh, how that's going to help aid you in your uh you know performance in the gym uh, very much of a, a strength focus there in the gym yeah you know tom i i had a client you remind me a lot of a person i trained a long time ago and we did exactly what we're talking about and he was really good at following you know what i said to a t and it was remarkable at the end of three months we gained muscle and actually his body fat percentage went down a little bit now i think what happened is his body fat total weight didn't change, but because he gained lean body mass, his overall body fat weight became a smaller percentage of his body weight, if that makes any sense. So we actually saw his muscle go up uh, and his body fat percentage go down. Then when we went to start to cut, it was like his body responded again. There's this theory. I remember Jason Phillips uh, and I talked about this on a previous old podcast where we we think, and, and other people have talked about this, where the central nervous system kind of has this memory of you know how you lived before what you did before and so it's a little bit more resistant it's a little bit more resistant to getting lean or you know getting yourself to where you want to go so you kind of have to let your body know it's okay a surplus a calorie surplus in your situation especially when you're sending the signal to build may do that and it may take a few months but i think you'll be happy uh with the results do you have maps anabolic and maps prime pro by the way no, no. I was waiting to see what you guys would say before I made any moves. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to give them to you, so you, you got those for oh, free. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, so you start off with what we're giving you right now. That should take care of you for the next three months. If we don't touch bases between now and then, the ideal order for someone like you is MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, then MAPS Aesthetic. We wrote them in that order to help first build the metabolism, build the strength base, then move into kind of performance-based stuff, and then eventually into aesthetic. So if you do not make contact with any of us between now and the end of three months, that would be the next progression for you. But I would love to hear back from you. I'd love to hear how you're doing after a month or two and stay strong. It's going to be the, the mental game is going to be everything for you. Yeah. yeah figure out, Definitely. yeah. Figure out your rituals in terms of like, uh, you know, pr- protecting that ankle mm-hmm. to, or that knee, excuse me, uh, mm-hmm. work on the ankle, work on the hips and, and, and mm-hmm. you know, really dial that in. It's going to help a lot. Awesome. If, uh, if I could just say to you guys real quick, I appreciate everything you guys do. And especially the other day on one of your podcasts, um, talking about Sal's awesome video. Awesome. By the way, thank you. Um, you guys, something that I must respect and appreciate is people like me who are tr- trying to find where they fit in the fitness industry and in the fitness you know, world by you guys, you know, not just selling your bodies and stuff to push stuff and letting, you know, the information speak. It really makes it comfortable for people like me in that situation to come on here and talk to you guys about it. So I really appreciate that. And I love that you guys do everything the way you do it. So thank you. Hey, oh, yeah. your, awesome, your feedback means a lot. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you, for Tom. Calling. Thank you guys. No problem. You know, I had a I had a trainer years ago um, that I recruited from Foot Locker. So you know they sell shoes, right? I was at the mall, and this dude is selling me shoes, and he's super charismatic, super personable. And we started talking. He asked me what I did. I said, "Oh, I managed the gym, you know, down the street." And he says, "Oh, you know, I've been working out now for a while. I lost a hundred pounds. Now he probably still needed to lose thirty or forty pounds, but he'd lost a hundred pounds. Very similar story to this guy." And I said, you want to you want to get into fitness? I think you'd make a great trainer. You just yeah. got to get certified. Anyway, he ended up working for me, became a trainer, and actually did very well because yeah. he'd gone through the journey recently. People connected with him, 
and he made an excellent uh, trainer. I work with somebody very similar, and they, they just become this evangelist of fitness, and it's yes. just like they did very well in, well, in the business. The, this is uh, one of my favorite clients to help because this is li- you, you literally change this person's life. Yes. Yeah. Somebody who's been walking around at four bills plus for a good amount of their life, right? It's not like this happened overnight for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and you drop, you know, 150, 200 pounds down on this person and get them excited about the fitness and how, and, and when they do it the right way like this, right? He didn't do obsessive amount of cardio and cut down to 1500 calories. He's in a pretty healthy calorie and it, he should be a little bit higher. Just so you, the audience is listening and like, I think he's 270, right? Still. Yeah. So 270 person that who's, who's lifting and training five days a week easily could be around 4,000, 4,500 calories in a good, in a good place. Right. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. he's got plenty of room to still go up and still be in, I think a really good place. And that's the goal for me. If uh, he was a long-term client is I would say, okay, we're going to go in and out of this bulking and then back to cutting and then back to bulking until I can move you up to about 45, 4,700 calories. That would be the kind of the goal would be to run a bulk for a while, get, increase those calories. Then I'd reduce for a little while, then go back to a bulk. Mm-hmm. And the ultimate goal is building strength. I don't actually give a shit if the scale doesn't move right now. Like if we hover right around that 270. That's ideal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would like to hover right around that 270, mm-hmm. give or take a few pounds and actually get him up to eating 4,500 calories. Because then if I go, okay, now we're at 4,500 calories, we've maintained 270 pounds. What I know for sure has happened is there's been a nice even exchange. You've probably added five to 10 pounds of muscle, lost five to 10 pounds of fat. So you're a leaner, stronger, bet faster metabolism version of yourself. Now let's go down to your 3,500 and watch what happens. Yeah, that melts off your body. Yes. Mm. 